the basic concept is we all believe in the therapeutic effects of community gardening and the importance to people who perhaps have never experienced that before. And so this is kind of what we do, is we bring people together, working together uh, from disadvantaged people of various kinds. Many of the folks that we work with are uh, suffering from addiction issues or um, mental health issues and uh, in need of support. And we do all sorts of gardening activities. Uh, this is an organic garden. And, and so we grow lots of different things, fruits, vegetables, herbs, flowers, and we sell these, some of them, some things in town. We also donate some things and the participants take some things. Most people tell us they really enjoy it. It's a nice way to get out of, bottom line, it's a nice way to get out of town out of the inner core area or whatever. Uh, have, get some sunshine, learn some skills, feel better about themselves often. It's been wonderful. I can feel really, really um, depressed or just not feeling that great. Um, and then I come out here and I get into the soil and I get into the creation and, and I just am rejuvenated. I think um, anyone who has some uh, issues with, with depression or um, mental illness generally can really benefit from it. Take some out of their day-to-day um, -to -day life that um, might not be as calm and um, therapeutic as it is here. Um, harvested uh, yeah, lettuce and radicchio, potatoes, uh, New Zealand spinach, kale, um, these beautiful purple cauliflower. I guess you could say it's kind of a slam dunk because we're growing good food for the participants, for the public, uh, and we're doing it in a way that everybody benefits from it. We certainly hope that we will continue to get the kind of support that we have gotten from the Victoria Foundation, from Island Health, from United Way, and other groups uh, in the future to think that this can really make a difference.